Um, one of my goals in this run for county judge, and something I've been working on for a very long time, is getting a transportation network in Travis County and regionally that serves everyone. Not just those who can afford a toll pass. <laughs> And uh, uh, really get a multimodal trains, buses, pedestrian, bike in these corridors that connect up our community. So whether you live in the city of Austin, Del Valley, Lakeway, or Wyatt, you have choices about whether you are going to get a car to take your kid to school or whether your kid can actually ride a bike to school. Because right now, it's not safe in most communities to let your kid get out on the street on the bicycle. Um, similarly, you've got to have two cars in this community because if one person takes the car to work in the morning, the other person can't get to the grocery store. Because the grocery store is miles away. You've got to get in your car and you can get a gallon of milk. I like some pretty good interesting questions for Gail and Romini today yeah. and you were able to answer them just quite smoothly and uh, seem like people will be telling a lot of information today and tell us a little bit about uh, the, the position that you're running for. I'm running for the county judge, the Travis County judge, and that's a little bit of a misnomer. Most people think that that means I wear a black robe and I sit at a court bench. The county judge actually is the chief administrator of the county, a lot like the city manager. Um, like the city manager, the, the county judge sets the agenda, uh, does the budget for the entire county, um, establishes the countywide policies for all of the county employees. Um, and this is done with the advice and consent of the full contract which is a five-member court with the judge presiding. So we're going to speak and then we're going to start again. So the the race will be the primary will be in March of 2014, and that will pretty much decide the race. Uh, there will probably be a Republican uh, running in the race at some point, but really it's going to be between the Democrats who run. So that's likely to be Andy Brown. Well, well, thank you for uh, letting us interview you today, Ms. Ecker, and tell us more that people can reach you or they can find you if they want to come out and support and Sure. You know, Just go to sarahecart.com or go to my Facebook page. Okay, thank you. We're out with Mrs. Eckert at Fairview Coffee, and thank you for watching AMTV Live. This is Quinny Tools. Thank you so much. Thank you.